Fiber is not essential. If it was essential, I would have long died. So it's clearly not essential. Now, is it conditionally beneficial? Sure. As I as I mentioned, if it's if it's replacing process, you know, highly processed junk food, you, you're going to do better off eating fiber. But as far as switching over to a diet that contains no fiber, your bowel habits are going to change. Of course, you're going to waste much. You're going to waste much less, right? So I mean, when we look at what is what is in stool, uh, it's fiber, it's bacteria, and it's basically uh, sloughed off enterocytes and, and a little bit of the digestive juices. And so your bowel frequency, your bowel volume will go down significantly. I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, the less time you spend on the toilet, the more time you have for other daily activities. So that's probably <laughs> beneficial. Um, but yeah, you'll see, you'll definitely see a difference in, in, in what your output is. And that's expected. You know, if, if your diet basically results in you half your nutrition going into the toilet, it's, it's a very inefficient diet. That's why we look at things like gorillas who consume, uh, they're not much bigger than I am. I'm almost the size of a silverback gorilla. I mean, it's kind of funny. <laughs> And I eat maybe I eat maybe four pounds of food a day, whereas a gorilla has to eat forty to sixty pounds. And they go to the bat; they they produce an eight pound baby of feces every day, and that that's a very inefficient digestive system. And I think if you look across all species that have ever existed on planet Earth, something like eighty five percent of them have been carnivorous because it is more efficient. It's a more efficient way to get the nutrition. 